stories in the Quran are lessons. You know, a lot of Muslims, and I hear this all the time, they love to hear stories. They'll go on to YouTube and listen to stories, but they don't want to get the message. Stories of prophets in the Quran, stories in the Quran is not the purpose of the Quran. The Quran is not a storybook. The Quran is not koi kahani ke kitab hai bai. It is not a storybook. The Quran is a furqan. Don't let people fool you. There are people like, I hear people like, oh, Sheikh Shafat is all about do's and don'ts. Sheikh Shafat is what don'ts you should do. Well, you want me to give you stories so you could cry and then go to hell crying? Cry here and cry there. The Quran is not a storybook. It's about do this and don't do that. And then Allah gives us a story about a prophet where we should get the message and the lesson of why we should do this and why we shouldn't do that. You see what the story is all about? That's what the story is about. Lessons to follow the path of Hidayah, guidance, and the Furqan. It's not a, it's a, a lot of people do that. They love to hear stories and they win hearts of people by stories. That's for movies. Fake, as Trump says, fake news. In a reality, it's a bunch of waste of time. A story should have a lesson, should have a lesson towards the Furqan, right and wrong. So when Allah gives us a, a lesson in the Quran, tells us do this or not to do this, and then he goes back and says, remember so and so, and he gives us a story, which is a lesson. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of problem a lot of people have. They love this kind of kahani thing, because we live in a world of movies movies fake things it's not about us changing our lives and that's a whole different topic